Good morning, everyone. Today is a special day because it is our last day of Sunday school for our school year. Woohoo! It's a big day. I am so thankful that all of you have been able to join me virtually this whole year. It's been an amazing year. Definitely very different than when we do Sunday school at church, but it's still so special and amazing. Now, I don't want you to think that that means that there's no more learning over summer. Of course, we are going to have vacation Bible school, so I hope everyone gets to come to that. Um, we also have a virtual component, so if you're not ready to come in person, that's totally fine. We'll have a virtual VBS also. But I'm also still going to be doing our Sunday school lessons throughout the summer. We just won't have a Zoom meeting for it. So that means that you'll get to do it at home with your parents. Maybe that will be on Sunday morning, but maybe it's a different day throughout the week. And that's totally fine. The important thing is that we are going to be still learning about God. God. So today, since it gets to be a celebration, because it's our last day and we've accomplished so much, we are going to be learning a bit more about music and celebration and praising God. So all you're going to need is in your bag, you are going to have at least one musical instrument in there. And everyone's is going to be different. I'll show you an example of a few of the ones that we have. Uh, but let's also learn about music that happens in the Bible. We see all over places where people are singing and dancing and praising God, and God loves that. Uh, one thing that we, we see a lot of are psalms. So let's learn a little bit about psalms. So this says, praise God from our Spark Bible. There are lots of poems and songs called psalms in the Bible. This is a special one. Hooray for our awesome God. God made you and me and everything else. God, you are so amazing and strong and creative. Everyone thinks so. Even babies think so. When I look up in the sky at night and see the moon and all of those stars that you have made, it makes me extra glad that you care especially for me. You ask us to work with you to help take care of everything that you have made. And you have given us a job to do. God, you want us to care for the earth and everything that lives on it. All of the animals and birds and fish and sea animals, the plants and all of creation. Hooray for our awesome God. God, you made you, you and me and everything else. So we see that this is praising God. We are saying, God, you've made everything and you've made it so wonderful. And you've thought of everything and you've even made us. And so we see that, that in the Bible, these are prayers, these are poems, but these are also songs. Have you guys ever sang some songs that are about God? I sing songs about God all the time. I love songs. Uh, I like to sing ones that I've learned at camp. I like to sing ones that I've learned at church. I love singing our vacation Bible school songs. I sing all the time because it's so much fun. But also God has given us beautiful voices. And also many of us also know how to play different instruments. Somebody in your family might, or maybe even you, some people play the guitar or they may play the trumpet or saxophone or maybe even the piano. All of these are beautiful sounds to God. So all of you have at least one instrument in your bag. That's something that you get to keep. And I've pulled out just a few of them so that you can see them. Um, I'm filming this early <laughs> so that I can send all of these out with you guys. But I just pulled a few just so that you can see what others may have. And then we also can see how to use them. What I want for us to do after I've shown all of this and after I finish up my part right here is for all of us to create some songs together and all of us play our music at the same time because we are a group. We're a Sunday school class and God wants to hear all of our beautiful music. So here we have a xylophone. If we hit each different one or if we... 
each note is different. So it will make a beautiful sound like this. Some of you will have bells. Some of them are on something like this. Some of them are on a stick. Some of them are on um, something that kind of looks like this, but it's soft instead of hard. Bells, beautiful for jingling. They, they can continuously ring or you can do it to a beat like These bells are gonna be beautiful. Also for things that we can shake, we have shakers. Ooh, this one kind of looks like a little ladybug or something like that, but we have a lot of different types. So you may be somebody who has a shaker or some of them are maracas, so they have a handle on them too. These are great to make some rattling sounds, but also can do a great beat too. Sounds beautiful. All right, next we have the triangle. So if you have a triangle, we wanna make sure that we're holding it by the top because if we hold here, listen to what this sounds like. Not that great, right? But if we allow it to dangle, listen to this. That is so cool because it has to resonate, resonate, it has to shake. So, awesome. So, two of you will be getting triangles, which will be very cool. We'll love to hear what you guys get to do. Next, we also have castanets. So, all of ours have little animals on them. But a castanet is something that you can hold in your hand and you basically kind of get to snap them. Kind of looks like it's biting. <laughs> but oftentimes people may have two and they, it is very cool. So you may be somebody who has a cassinet. We also have a few different kinds of whistles. Some of them are look like birds and so they make a bird whistle. This one I thought was kind of cute because it's a little caterpillar. You get to blow on this one. I won't give this one out because I've already now touched it with my own mouth, so I'll keep this one. But everything else is gonna be going out to you guys. We also have a few tambourines. I thought this one was very cute. I love lions. So our tambourine can work in two different ways or as a combination of both. You can shake it. And we have all of these that make that sound or you can use it as a drum. or you can do a mix. Awesome. So now what I want to see is all of us doing it together. It's gonna to be so amazing to hear everyone's different instrument, how they're each unique. They're all different. Nobody's instruments are the same, even though like maybe a few people have a tambourine, but each tambourine has a different picture on them. Or same thing about every single one of these. They're all unique and different. And the sounds that they make or the rhythms that we that we create with them or the music that we're doing, it's all different, but it all works together too. So I was hoping we could sing some songs that we know maybe like Jesus Loves Me or some of the others that you guys might say, oh, I love that song, let's sing this one. And so our voices can praise God, but also our musical instruments can praise God. And it's a wonderful way for us to close out our end of year Sunday school lesson with a wonderful party celebrating the best thing in all creation, and that's God. So thank you for joining me. Please continue to watch the videos and do that with your family. That will be wonderful and I will see you guys next week. So let's close out in prayer. Dear God, thank you for Sunday school. Thank you for everyone who's in our Sunday school class, as well as all the other people who get to watch this and are doing these lessons at home. We want everyone to be able to celebrate you, God. Thanks for giving us beautiful voices. Please help us to praise you with them. Thank you for these wonderful musical instruments. Help us to use them to glorify you and to make beautiful sounds that we can share with each other and we can share with you. In your name we pray. Amen. Bye.